brothers rock Jesus pieces, but they really don't know Jesus. Just know that he's the seat and please don't leave it. We got the keys to the kingdom. We never be the feet evil legions. All the demons. I know you see them screaming, please believe it. We got the keys to the kingdom. We got the keys for the keys for the Jesus pieces, but they really don't know Jesus. The keys to the kingdom we never be the future evil legions All the keys to the kingdom I know you see them screaming Please believe it We got the keys to the kingdom We got the keys to the keys to the Real quick, give me Deuteronomy 29 and 29. Watch this. The, yeah, I want everybody to listen close. Listen to this. Listen to what God said. We got you, brother. So this is why we out here. I'm going to show you something because this, what's coming out is that y'all never heard this before. That's why y'all are all amazed. Listen. Just listen. Deuteronomy chapter 29 and verse 29. This is a prophecy. Read Deuteronomy 101 so they can get the, so they can get the, uh, the subject matter or who Moses was talking to. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Who was Moses speaking to? Read it, read it again for him. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So now we have the audience established so you understand. Give me Deuteronomy 29 and 29. Let's listen closely. Deuteronomy chapter 29 and verse 29. The secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever. We, so who was the us that the secret things belong to? Bring it out. No, who? Let's let's keep it in context. Who, what was the audience? Okay, so read it again. The secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but those things which are re revealed belong unto us and to our children forever. For what? Forever. What's the what's the expiration date on forever? Okay. Oh, for what? Okay, so it's no end. That we may do all the words of this law. So it says the secret things belong unto us. The audience was the children of Israel forever. That's what the Bible says. So just when you hear that, who who else does this Bible belong to then? Bring it up. No. Read it again for the brother. The secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever, uh -huh. that we may do all the words of this law. Uh -huh. So now, what's your question, brother? I, I no, go ahead, brother. You said, where is the scripture that said, no, that's not, that's not what we're saying. It's no scripture. So. Read Genesis 2 and 7. Just read Genesis 2 and 7. We use the word black because that's the reference that you know the so-called Negro. But but listen, listen, listen. Are they, uh, when we look, Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Rican, are they considered black? What about our brothers from El Salvador? They'll be, they're, they're Zebulon. Are they considered black? We just use black because that's the term that y'all are familiar with. So that's all this. So the Bible is talking to the so-called, meaning those are the names they were given in the last days, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So this isn't a black move, but listen, let me get this real quick, and I'm y'all are going to answer the question for me. Read that. The book of Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. So I'm going to ask a simple question. What color is the dust of the ground? Right, so when you dig, the deeper you dig what? The deeper you dig in the ground, what happens to the color of the soil? There you go. So what does that mean? The original man was various shades of brown. So that's that's the point. So it's not a so-called black because your your jacket is black, right? So no, they're not. No, they're not. Right. Oh, you want? Do y'all want? Y'all gonna stay around for the history? All right. Let's start with Genesis Genesis chapter twenty-five, verse twenty-five. So we got you. All we need is five minutes. You can't. You can't. We're gonna get that. So listen, we're gonna we're gonna go through all that. All y'all gotta do is just wait. Alright, read that. Listen, listen to this. Listen. We're gonna listen. 
Genesis chapter 25 and verse 25. And the first came out red, all over like a hairy garment. So this is the birth of Jacob and Esau. Jacob is the so-called father of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. And Esau is the father of the Edomite or the white race that you know of today. Come on. And they called his name Esau. They called his name what? Esau. They said he was born red and hairy. Come on. That's right. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel. And his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old when she bare them. Listen to this. Listen, listen. We do, but we're gonna we're gonna break that. You asking the litany of questions. Just let me answer this question. No, it's not. No, the, the understanding that y'all are coming with, you coming with the understanding that you were taught in slavery. Watch this. Listen. Listen no. Listen, just listen, fellas, just listen. So it's gonna listen. It's gonna describe Esau. It's gonna give some, it's gonna give some characteristics of Esau. Listen to this. Hey, hey, my brother with the white hat on. I'm, the Bible's going to list some characteristics. I'm going to ask you, what race of people does this fit? Read verse 27. Verse 27. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter. Hold on, brothers, just listen. That's why y'all not hearing anything because y'all talking. Just listen. That's right. And the, bo and the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter. So Esau was a cunning hunter. A man of the field. A what? A man of the field. So let's think it up today. Who's known today as the great outdoorsman? Bring it out. Bring it out. It's a simple question. What people are known as the great outdoorsman? When you think of a uh, uh, past pro shop, uh, REI, and uh, uh, what's the other one? Read it again for me. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter and a man of the field. So that's one, we got two characteristics about Esau description that he would be a cunning hunter and a man of the field. Go to his blessings. Bring it out. So we're gonna show you. Because y'all honestly, y'all have never been taught the Bible. What y'all think y'all know? No, listen, listen. No, listen what I no, listen. I know, but what I'm listen what I'm saying. Y'all have been we y'all have never been taught the Bible like y'all are hearing it. That's what I'm telling y'all. Y'all if y'all were known as y'all be over here with us. Read that. Genesis chapter 27, verse 34. And when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a great and exceeding bitter cry. So now we're getting into the blessing of, of, of Esau because Jacob was blessed. So now Esau's like, why don't I get my blessing? Read that. And said unto his father, bless me even also, O my father. Uh -huh. And he said, thy brother come with subtlety and hath taken away thy blessing. Uh -huh. And he said, is it? Yeah, get the point. Verse 37, and Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy Lord, and all and all his brethren have I given to him for servants, and with corn and wine have I sustained him, and what shall I do now unto thee, my son? Verse 39, Verse 39. and Isaac his father answered and said unto him. So Isaac answered Esau, this is what he said. Yeah, we know we in Genesis 27, we have 39. So listen, so we read about a two descriptions of Esau, that he would be a cunning hunter and a man in the field. So now was getting down to further characteristics or his blessing. This is verse 39 in chapter 27. Read that. Genesis chapter 27, verse 39. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. Meaning Esau is going to live in the best places on the earth. Come on. And of the dew of heaven from above. Meaning they're going to be scattered all over the earth. Come on. And by thy sword, by thy what? By thy sword shalt thou live. So how can somebody possibly live and stay in the best places of the earth? When you think about Australia, bring it out. What happened to the Aborigines in Australia? Bring it out. Bring it out. I'm just asking a question. What happened I, I, I to the? Let us know. What happened? No, the indigenous people who came over there. What race of people now run Australia? Bring it out. Bring it out. You, so you don't know if you type in Australia here images, you don't know what race. Read it again. No, 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 no. Don't, Verse no, don't. forty. And by thy sword shalt thou live. It says, and by thy sword shalt thou live. Come on. And shall serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. Let's talk about in Kings when he got free. So it says he's going to live in the fatness. is talking about the best place of the earth. And by thy sword thou shalt live. Right. Meaning what? In order to get the best places of the earth, how can you take the lands? You understand? By what? Let's just think about America. Who was living in America? Bring it out. Before Christopher Columbus got here. So how did they get the land? Did they vote for it? 
But I'm, I'm just saying, you see what, so these are characteristics. So how did they get the land? How did they get America? How did America become named America? But, 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 but did you, but what group of people took it? Right, no, it's not what I'm saying, history, what? What group of people came over, brought you over here, brought your ancestors over here and did this? This is just crystal clear. I'm just saying, what group of people, what group of people did this? Right, so again, that's what goes back and says, by thy sword, thou shalt live. Get Romans 9. You got it. That's a good question. The Bible's going to answer that. Yes. Yeah. No, it's all this, all this stuff. It's not that he turned out terrible, but we don't understand this. God made him that way. That's right. That's, yes. We're about to read it. We're about to read it. We're, we're in the, so do y'all believe in Apostle Paul? Okay, so we're going to read out of the book of Romans. That's good. Yeah, so we're going to go to Romans chapter 9. Romans chapter 9. Re listen to this. We're in Romans 9. Watch this. Let's get straight to the point. I want I want you to jump down to verse 17. We're going to read, uh, read verse 17. Read it quick because these brothers got to go. Romans chapter 9, verse 17. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose I, have I raised thee up. He raised up Pharaoh to do what? That I might show my power in thee. So how did he raise up Pharaoh? He raised up Pharaoh through slave labor of the Israelites. That's right. The same way he's making an analogy, how the same way that the Lord raised up Esau, the same way he raised up Pharaoh. How did America get raised up? Slave labor through the Israelites. Come on. And that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. So when he destroyed Pharaoh, it was no question that that's the most high God. Who's the most powerful and mightiest military on the planet? That's not a hard question to answer. For. Who got the power to put sanctions on a, on a nuclear superpower? No. China didn't put no. America put sanctions on Russia. Brother, where you been, brother? Come on, read. Verse 18. Therefore hath he, hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy. Who, and whom he will harden, he hardeneth. I mean, it's all up to the Lord. Listen. Thou wilt say then unto me. Like this is what y'all say. Since thou wilt then say unto me. Why doth he yet find fault? And why does God find fault with Esau? Because that's what y'all just said. Come on. For who hath resisted his will? Who can resist the will of God? Because remember, God made Pharaoh hard. God hardened Pharaoh's heart. Come on. Nay, but O oh man, who art thou that repliest against God? What, did, what was God asked to the brother? Why did he make Esau? Nay, but O oh man, who art thou that repliest against God? He said, brother, who are you to reply against my power? Come on. Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it? So it says, shall the thing formed say to him that formed it? Come on. Why hast thou made me thus? Uh -huh. Hath not the potter power of the clay? So now he's using a nod, says, hath not the, pot, uh, the potter power over the clay? Like, I'm going to give you an example. You're, both of y'all are potters. You make a cup out of the same lump of clay and make a urinal out of that same lump. Can the urinal say to you, why did you make me a urinal? Bring it up. No, because you made it. Read it. Hath not the potter power of the clay and of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and to and another unto dishonor? So out of the same lump, as he's drawing an, a, a, an analogy, out of the same seed of Isaac came Jacob and Esau. One vessel for honor, the other vessel for dishonor. That's what y'all don't know. Come on. What if God, willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endured with long, much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction? Did y'all just hear that? Y'all ain't here. So what's your question, brother? The same way the children of Israel are standing in front of us with the same disobedience today. 
Yes, we're ta I'm talking to the disobedient children today. That's the point that's being made. So how do we distinguish the disobedient ones from back then? Like the ones that are going to keep the commandments of God. The, right. the ones that don't keep the commandments are going to be vaporized by thermonuclear missiles that's right. that's according right. to the Holy Scriptures. We're, we're, we're hitting random spots, but look, we got a school, brother. We got thousands of videos on YouTube because y'all do have a lot of good questions. And for sake of time, we're not going to be able to answer. But not only do we have the prophecies, because how do we know this is a true book? I, I wanna, I wanna come back what time? What time you going to be back, brother? What y'all do if y'all mind me ask? What y'all do? Oh, y'all musicians. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. You know, all, all praise. You know, King Dave was a, a great musician. That's right. And so were the Levites. You know, that's, they, that's had right. the, they had the band. So y'all come over here and learn who y'all are. Y'all aren't African Americans. Y'all aren't Nigerians or whatever y'all might be calling y'all. So y'all are the same children that Moses was talking to in the wilderness. Y'all just lost your nationality. Y'all were spun up here in Babylon calling yourself black. You're not black, brother. You are the Israelites. And, that, and, and the reason, again, the reason why we know that y'all are Israelites because the Israelites historically throughout the Bible were hard-headed, rebellious Negroes. That's right. That's how we know we're the children of Israel. Huh? Absolutely. Absolutely. Matter of fact, Go ahead and text him. Text, text, text Matthew. Go ahead and text him, brother. We got a whole, we got, we got all types of, we got all types of time. But I'm going to tell you right now, that garbage that y'all learned, I grew up in the Christian church. Total garbage. Total garbage. And everybody following that doctrine is going to be vaporized. I'm going to show you something. Give me, give me Matthew 24. Just listen, all. listen, listen, listen. Listen. Nah, I'm, I'm, y'all, the, the people thinking, you thinking that Christ is going to come back. And you thinking Christ is some soft, anything effeminate other man? Than this, no, anything not. other than this is garbage to y'all. Just like anything no, other No, that's what the, the Bible places. says. No, I got you, bro. Listen, listen to this. The same thing. I just gonna keep reading. Thank you, bro. Hey, I appreciate your time. Hold on. Hey, brother, real quick, for the brother right there. Listen to this. Matthew chapter 24, verse 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. The Bible says many are going to come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. The question is, who taught this? Bring it out. That's a simple question. Who taught that? Bring it out. So let's think about it. Does, does the majority of the world celebrate Christmas or does the majority of the world keep Feast of Dedication? Bring it out. He said many. Does the majority of the world celebrate Easter or does the majority of the world celebrate the Passover? I mean, read it again. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. The reason why they're going to deceive many, give me Job 9.24. Right. People think this, we're not out here playing no games. This ain't no fairy tale book. And I made a bold statement that if you don't repent as an Israel, you're going to be vaporized. We're going to get that. Read that real quick, because this is why they deceive. Listen to this. Job chapter 9, verse 24. Because remember, he said he shall deceive many. So we in Job 9. Are you taking notes? So we... Job 9.24, listen to this. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. My man, who runs the earth today? What, what group of people runs the earth today? Bring it out. Brother, it's not a hard question to answer. I'm saying, what group of people run the earth today? The, who you pay your taxes to? Yes, don't, the white man, brother. Read it again for the brother. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Don't be ashamed, brother. They know that they run the earth. They're not ashamed of it, brother. Right. Come on. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Hey, hey, my brother, did you hear that? Hey, my brother right there with the blue shirt on. The Bible said the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. What people run the earth today? Right. It said he covers the faces of the judges. Brother, real quick. Who painted this image right here? Who painted this image? You see that? We're going to give y'all Michael, Michael, Michael uh, Leonardo da Vinci painted that image with Michelangelo as well over time. Painted that image. Read it again. Job chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. So it says he covers the faces of the judges thereof. Come on. If not, if not, where and who is he? You hear that, sister? You see that? Our people don't want to listen. They think, did you hear that brother said he covers the faces of the judges there? Go back to Matthews uh, 24 and 5. 
so we can see why everybody deceived out here. The book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. So Job already prophesied that somebody would cover the faces of the judges. Christ gave the one that many going to come in my name, because Leonardo da Vinci wasn't around it on the time of Christ. Who painted this white image of Christ that got most of our people following today? So it says, shall deceive many. Get we me. used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.